that will give you free health care. Guess what just happened? Dude, are you okay? <laughs> are you tired? <laughs> Our first meal of the day is gonna be. It looks delicious. Good morning. It is Thursday and we are heading to. Are you okay? <laughs> So I just dropped off Miley at work and now we're gonna head over to the Bangkok Pattaya Hospital. I am going to go there because a couple of days ago I was talking to my friend John and he told me Bangkok Pattaya Hospital accept the FMP program. If you're a veteran, if you travel, and if you live in a foreign country, you need to sign up for the program because it will, it will give you free health care through the VA, and you don't have to go to the VA hospital to get treatment, to get care. You just gotta, you just gotta find. You need to find a hospital that accepts the FMP program that is a, it's, it's kind of like insurance through the VA, but you don't have to go, again, you don't have to go through the VA hospital to get treatment. So here's a little link for you to guys, for you guys to look up the requirements. Let's head over to the hospital and see what, uh, see what they need from me and see if I can sign up. So here we are guys, we have arrived at Pattaya Bangkok Hospital. Don't you hate uneven tables? I can't, I, when it start shaking like this, it's just, I can't, I can't do it. So I got my coffee. So the FMP, and what this program is, you don't have to go to a VA clinic. You can go to whatever clinic is under this program, whatever clinic accepts this basically insurance, and they're gonna cover the cost. Either they're gonna cover the cost or you're gonna get treated, you pay for it, and then you send a claim to VA, and VA is gonna pay you back whatever money you spend. Whatever service-connected disability or whatever service-connected illness you have, and you got rated by the VA for it, this program was gonna cover it. So it is a very good program. Pattaya, here at the Pattaya Bank Hospital, the hospital actually pays for the treatment. So again, let's say I come and get treated for my shoulder, my back, whatever PTSD, whatever issues I have, they will take care of it. They will pay for it. They will pay for everything. You don't have to pay the hospital and then uh, ask the VA to reimburse you, ask the VA for the money back. Everything is taken care of. In Pattaya, what you need to provide is your letter of accept acceptance into the FMP program, your passport, your uh, your military retire ID, and you don't have to be retired to to use this program. You, as long as you're a veteran, uh, you can use it. Every hospital is different, but there's uh, if you. This is just the basic info, so you need more info, whatever you are. This is not only related to Pattaya, this is not only related to Thailand. This FMP program can be used anywhere in the world. So if you're a veteran, if you come to Pattaya, you're gonna be staying here for a couple months, a day, two days, two weeks, whatever the case might be, look into the FMP, and it's uh, Pattaya Bangkok Hospital, they, uh, they accept it. So anyways, uh, so let's head over to immigration. I gotta take a photo for my visa. Um, just go in there, take a photo real quick. Uh, the guy's gonna meet me. The guys that are taking care of my visa is gonna meet me there. We're just gonna walk right in and out. Uh, Cause you know, I'm, 
I'm paying a little bit extra money. I'd probably go get something to eat after afterwards. So yeah, let's roll. So before we head over to immigration, I'm gonna try to find a uh, a new battery because some of you already know, like my bike has been acting up. My battery keeps dying on me. I don't know if it's I don't know if I need a new battery or something is wrong with the alternator on my bike. So we're gonna do step one: buy a new battery, and hopefully it's just that. Hopefully that's it. I just need a new battery, and. Yeah, let's, let's see what happens. I got, my, I got my new battery and now let's head over to John Tim Immigration and take care of this visa issue. And I have about 45 minutes before I meet Earth for my visa thing. I'm gonna go into this market and kill some time. I've never been here. Pretty standard they got fruits they got a whole bunch of fruits and I think there's some uh, stuff in the back then clothes and things for your home so I don't know let's go in there and uh, maybe we find something cool maybe I'll find something interesting or cool that I can uh, I can put up in my uh, apartment and it looks like this market you can actually drive your bike around the different stalls of this place which is kind of interesting Forget this indefinitely, not regret your hand in So I haven't eaten anything and uh, this ice cream is actually, it's quite good. So I think that's gonna be my first meal of the day, ice cream. Our first meal of the day is gonna be ice cream why not <laughs> so guess what just happened <laughs> I'll drop my ice cream <laughs> I still got a little bit left it's all good <laughs> This ice cream is too good. It's so we are done with the market. Not nothing really, nothing really new. You know, if you've seen one, pretty much you've seen them all. Yeah, I didn't find anything. I just got some ice cream, and now we're heading over to uh, Jom Tiem Immigration. So we are done with immigration, and now it's time to eat. We're gonna drive down Jom Tiem Beach. See if I find something um, that grabs my attention or catches my eye. I really do not know what I want to eat. This is like uh, figuring out what I want to eat is like the hardest part of my whole day. So yeah. So I decided to come to Sans Cafe for lunch. There's a pretty nice day. It's a little bit hot, but it's uh, not bad. There's some people hanging out right outside uh, 7-Eleven. Uh, seven, there's 7-Elevens out here in Southeast Asia and Thailand, Philippines. They usually have tables and chairs where people can just, you know, go inside, get something to eat, get something to drink, maybe a beer, tea, whatever, coffee. And then they got tables where you can just, you know, just chill right in front of uh, 
right in front of the beach. It's a pretty good deal. And across the street, that's where Sans Cafe is, and that's where we're gonna go and eat. I don't know what I wanna eat. Let's go inside and see what's good. So here we are guys, we are inside. Actually, I decided to sit outside. There's a fan in front of me, there's a fan in the back. Pretty nice day, the beach is on my right hand side. It's a very nice view. I went with the spicy pepperoni pizza and I haven't had pizza in a while. A while for me is a week. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's see how this pizza comes out. I've seen it before, I never had it here. I but I the time that I have eaten here, I've seen people order their pizzas and it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. I changed my mind, it is kind of hot outside. So I came inside, it's, uh, this is pretty comfortable. Real nice big pillows and yeah, it's better inside. It's kind of hot. So I got my pizza and it looks delicious. So there you have it guys, that was uh, Sans Cafe and we are done for today. And again, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, dislike, do whatever you wanna do. I am out.